He's appeared on Showtime, HBO, Comedy Central, toured with Kenny Loggins, Dolly Parton, Woo! and David Lee Roth. Holy cow. Here comes Bud Anderson. Hi. Friendly town here, you say hi, people stare at you. <laughs> Everything on my show is true, and it's all observation, and it's all true, and I embellish a little bit, and I lie a lot, but it's all true. <laughs> and what I do is I talk about things I've seen and witnessed and things I've gone through, a lot of my mistakes and stuff like this. Uh, for, for instance, like last winter, I was working in the southern states prior to Christmas, because theoretically it's warmer in the south. Everywhere I went, it rained, snowed, sleeted, hailed everywhere, okay? I was in Nashville, Tennessee, and it sleeted there. Right, they had a sleet storm there. I'm in a hotel watching the news. They're interviewing a man in a hospital with two broken legs. They asked him what happened, and he goes, well, I was standing on the curb, and this car came sliding toward me sideways. It didn't stop. Even if you've never seen sleet before, if a car is coming at you sideways, move. Love to watch people in their cars. <laughs> cars is my biggest pet peeve with human, human beings because I used to race cars. I raced cars for five years. And I had to, yeah, right. thanks. I had to stop because the tickets added up. <laughs> <laughs> I play games while I'm driving out. If I get really bored during the day on the interstates, I see how long I can shut my eyes. <laughs> right? Because you can tell when you're going out of your lane because other traffic is like crunch. Okay. okay. But if you get bored at night on the interstates, you shut your lights off. <laughs> Come up behind the car in front of you. When you get right behind him, turn the lights on! <laughs> no car goes, <laughs> You ever seen those skid marks go up the interstates? <laughs> <clears throat> Last year I was driving to Denver. Come up behind this car, turn my lights on. He's jumping all over the road. I'm laughing my head off. He strains it out, turns his siren on. <laughs> Shut my lights off, went around him. <laughs> <laughs> it was a UFO. <laughs> See, what I do is I talk about human behavior. I don't make fun of people directly, unless you start it. <laughs> but we all have a lot of mistakes in common. I'm sure everybody in this room has either walked through or seen somebody walk through a crowded room and trip on nothing. And you know other people saw you do it and they're laughing and pointing and they're going to talk about you tomorrow. <laughs> if I do this in a, in a crowded room like a nightclub where there's a lot of drunk people, if I trip, I make sure every time I walk by that spot, I step over it. <laughs> because there's nothing there. But the drunks see you do that and they start doing it too. I was on a cruise ship and we were by the disco and the hallways kind of go on the sides of the disco. And this guy's walking, we didn't really see him at first, but he tripped on nothing. And he looked back and instead of just kept on walking, he made a big ordeal. He's like looking around, we're like, we're like, what is he doing? And he's looking around for about 15 minutes. Finally, he picks up a stir stick from a drink. And he looks and we're all looking at him and he goes. Oh yeah. I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. Next question's easier. At home, do you have remote controls for your TV sets? Are you spoiled by them? <laughs> See, I didn't think I was until I was in a nice hotel in Canada. And they had remotes, and mine worked, but the batteries were weak, so it would not work from a distance. <laughs> I actually walked up to the TV with a remote. Because <laughs> apparently I'm a genius. And men are theoretically mechanically minded, so I don't know if you ladies have done this, you probably have. But sometimes if the remote doesn't work, if you turn it over and slide the cover off and spin the battery and put it back on, it works, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Don't try that with your car. <laughs> By the way, never lick the car battery to see if it's good either. <laughs> you know, people do that. <laughs> yeah, after five times, you'll learn that one. What? Next question. I used to only ask uh, men this question, but now I found women do this, and I actually believe women do this more than men. In order to save time, how many people here have ever ironed your clothes while you're wearing them? <laughs> See, I remember the first time I did it, I was in a hotel screaming, Whoa! I'll be right there, Whoa! 
Last time I did it, which is the last time I'll ever do it, <laughs> I was working at the Tropicana in Vegas. Behind the stage was an apart apartment for us to hang out in between shows with every amenity, every appliance. It's very cool. And I had to wear a tux. And I, didn't, I didn't own a tux. So I rented a tux, and the fly kept staying open like this. Okay? It, it wasn't down, but you could see the zipper. So I didn't want to walk out in front of 1,200 people with an open fly. So I'm backstage, and I see the iron. Well, okay. I was not stupid enough to iron myself. I just thought, if I give myself a shot of steam, <laughs> well, then it'll stay down. <laughs> Worked. <laughs> I also can't figure out why people have eyebrows. <laughs> For me, they're bangs, but. <laughs> If we didn't have eyebrows, we would all look like we're in shock. <laughs> or just moving really fast. <laughs> I tried hunting. I, I, I tried bow hunting. Any hunters out here? No hunters? What, where? Man or, male or female? I can't see. Uh, what kind of gun or bow? Shotgun? Will that be a gun? Rifle? Rifle? Well, you just want to name them all off? <laughs> HP 40. <laughs> Okay, you, you're up. you guys are both hunters? Have you ever tried bow hunting? You have? Not boy, bow? <laughs> well, uh, the reason, I wasn't making fun of you. The reason, I said that in Detroit last year, and this guy goes, I hunt for boys all the time. I went, not, not boys, bow. <laughs> you're making me quiver. <laughs> but uh, I suck. I tried bow hunting 17 times. All 17 times, I got a five-mile walk and a case of beer. But not in that order. But I got 14 trees. I have a 36,000 pointer mounted over my fireplace now. <laughs> it's a big oak. One time we were out in a field and we're shooting field tip arrows, which are not hunting arrows. We're shooting across the creek at like a dandelion and my arrow went into a hole. And when I pulled it out, there was a mouse stuck on the arrow. So a friend of mine who's a taxidermist mounted it for me and it's over my mantle now. <laughs> we tracked that thing for five months, man. When my sister and I were little kids, my dad told us stories all the time in a manner called spoonerisms. Now what spoonerisms are is you take the first two letters or sounds of two different words and you change them around. Uh, my dad used to do Cinderella, which is Rindersella, which came off a record. I rewrote Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is now called Ghost Knight and the Devon Dwarfs. Once a ton of pine, lot nung ago, fought nar away. <laughs> if you're drunk now, you're not gonna get any of this. <laughs> There lived a beautiful girl, and her name was Wolf's Knight. Wolf's Knight was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> she had hack glare, oogle eyes, a nittle nose, and lead rips. <laughs> One day, Wolf's Knight was walking through the forest. <laughs> Bicking parries and watching panimals lay. When suddenly, she neared a hoise. It sounded Mike Luzik. And she came up on a kittle in the fiddle of the Morist. <laughs> so she weaked in the pindo. <laughs> she was like a teepeen pawn. <laughs> and she saw dead little dwarves dinging and sancing with each other. <laughs> and they had their names on their shirts. There was Bappy and Hashful, Sleazy and Sneepy, <laughs> Dumpy and Gropey, and Doc. <laughs> Odd man out. <laughs> Doc was a fart smeller. <laughs> we mile, fought in our way. At the edge of the forest was the creepy castle, which can't be changed around. <laughs> this is, of course, where lived the Wicked Witch, which can't be changed around. Wicked Witch went up to the mirror on the wall, said, mirror, mirror, which can't be changed around on the wall. Who's the mirror's fate of all? And the mirror goes, yeah, no. <laughs> Does Wolf's Night, Wolf's Night is yeah, absolutely gorgeous. You're looking fugly. <laughs> well, see list in A. The Wicked Witch was positively pissed. 
There came another doc at the door, doc, 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 and doc said, who those gare? And a man's voice said, tis me, a Pransom Hints. And they opened the door and there stood this Pransom Hints. And doc said, what go you for do? The Pransom Hints said, well, I was just out here in the fill of the Morris and I was feeling kind of cursy, so I thought maybe that I was stopping here and get a wink of draughter and maybe some of your came as spookies. And doc said, those are elves. And they showed off into the run set, gave them with five with ears in their ties, and they have lapily ever after. And that's my story of Wolfman and Demon's Wars. Thank you much.